Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to finally another reading a book in 24 hours that is set across 24 hours. Oh my god, I am finally back with one of these videos. I literally haven't filmed one since I did my They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera last August. So it's been over a year since I filmed one of these, but I took some days off work, so I needed to do some holiday, and I was like, what's better use of my time than to film one of these? And it's early in the morning. It is 6.45, because the book that I'm attempting to read in 24 hours this time round for round number three is, drumroll please, <laughs> Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've read one of her books before, After I Do, and I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed her writing style, but this is only the second time I've ever attempted reading one of her books. So I'm a little apprehensive, especially because I'm not a fan of books with dates, like 1958, for example. <laughs> I don't like... It's not really historical fiction, but it flashes back to the 50s in this book as well as present day and the present day is the section of the books that have the timestamps so yes I will be reading this book dictated by the timestamps in it and it starts at 7am so I will be starting reading at 7am and I go all the way to 7am tomorrow morning the only thing is and here's a disclaimer I am also seeing my boyfriend this weekend so when I did these videos before I was in lockdown, I couldn't see any of my loved ones because I was in high risk category and I worked from home and I had lots of holiday for you so when I had those sorts of days I literally just had 24 hours to myself. I could stay up until midnight and stay up till midnight the next day and have no kind of other commitments whereas this time round it is a Friday and I am seeing my boyfriend this evening. So the only issue is my belief in myself to actually accomplish this challenge this time round is a little bit lower because like I keep saying, I'm seeing my boyfriend this evening and I need to technically read this book until 7am tomorrow morning, which means reading through the night when my boyfriend is asleep, <laughs> which I don't think is going to be that easy. So what I'm going to do is try my absolute best to read the majority of this book dictated by the timestamps because I love filming these and I was like, what's the point in just never filming one of these again just because I don't think I'm going to be perfect at it and I'm actually going to achieve it. Like I still enjoy doing these challenges. I still enjoy filming these for you guys and you guys seem to really enjoy them. So what's the harm in giving it a go, giving my absolute 100% effort into doing it? If I don't complete it, I don't complete it. I'll still finish this book in this vlog and it should be across this weekend. It just might not be dictated by the timestamps. But I'm going to try my absolute best. <laughs> So as it's coming up to 7am, I will start the 7am section, although there's a little like prologue that doesn't have a timestamp, so I'll read that bit with the 7am section as well. But I guess, without further ado, let's get into this video. Trying to fit in frame here, but it's 6.59, so almost time to start. I don't cheat on these, I'm gonna start at exactly seven. Come on! <laughs> oh, yes! Seven! Let's go, let's read. Malibu Rising. Ah! I'm really nervous for some reason. Let's go, let's go. making good time it's 22 can you see that it's 7 22 and i just got to the 8 a.m section and that section was 26 pages so i'm just reading under a page a minute that's quite good going not gonna lie but i am starving my stomach was rumbling through the entirety of that so i'm gonna go grab breakfast but i'm intrigued so far i'm loving i just love multiple perspectives in books I don't know, there's just something about them that connects me to all the characters more and therefore I enjoy the books more because I love getting loads of different character developments. 
that's one of my favorite things about books is characters so multiple perspectives just adds to that when the writing is good and I enjoy Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing so multiple perspectives I'm loving and so far I'm really intrigued and really enjoying it so far so yeah I'm only 26 pages in so like how much can you actually say but enjoying it so far and I just realized I'm kind of in like an 80s outfit <laughs> to match my book <laughs> it's eight o'clock it is now 8 16 8 17 and I just finished the 8 a.m section good going I last time I did this I felt like I was reading constantly um for the entire day but I think that was because most books in a 24 hour period start at like midnight and I am not good at staying up late and like kind of reading through the night so I usually sleep and therefore I'm spending like the first half of the morning from like 6 a.m till midday trying to oh, there's a moth in my room from last night great I'm trying to catch up on what I missed when I was asleep but because Malibu Rising starts at 7 a.m I'm on track already which is a brilliant feeling <laughs> and because these chapters the timestamp chapters are so short I have lots of like free time in between the hours which is great as well but I do have a hair appointment at 9 a.m so I'm gonna get ready for that and leave the house and all that jazz but I'm literally all I'm getting is a fringe trim so you can see like my fringe is getting like all the way under my neck. I just want it like back to my jawline. So I'm literally just going for a fringe trim. It will take like 15 minutes and then I'm back to reading and I'll read the 9am section once, I, once I've got home from my hair appointment. But yeah, so far so good. A quick update on the book. Obviously now I've read the first section that is 1958. And maybe I was too quick to judge because it's not it's not reading like a historical fiction it's just set in that time so it's like a contemporary but set in the 1950s which I'm enjoying because you get more depth into the characters and the characters parents and I'm just like it's good <laughs> I'm really really enjoying it I don't know what it is about these 24 hour challenges but every book I've read in I've only read two and then Malibu Rising but every time I do one of these, I end up loving the book. It's either a four star rating or higher. So <laughs> clearly books that are set across 24 hours are really good. <laughs> but we shall see. I am now 43 pages in. So yeah, not too bad. I also took off the dust jacket because one, this colour is absolutely stunning. And two, the dust jacket is getting quite annoying to hold whilst reading the book. So yeah. I just got back from the hairdressers, yay. My bangs are now, now like not looking so wacky. Made myself a cup of tea. It is currently, don't judge, I'm putting my, my mug on my laptop, but it's fine, it will stay there. It is, <laughs> it's 25 past nine, so I knew I'd be back by like 9.30, so I can read the 9 a.m. section of this. page for the bad screenshot but I'm watching Paige is a brand new video that came out like seconds ago as a break from reading as I've just finished a 9am section and I'm about to go into the 10am section I'm on a roll I'm so on top of this right now and my boyfriend Mark he is a gem I know he's probably watching this I love you uh, <laughs> he just texted me word for word do you want me around tonight or did you want me around early tomorrow morning? I don't mind coming around tomorrow if you can do your 24 hour challenge if you're on track. <laughs> so I could actually do this and then he can come around tomorrow morning really early because obviously the book finishes at 7 a.m. And then we can binge Sex Education season three without me feeling guilty about reading my book. <laughs> um, update on the book, loving it. <laughs> I think it could be a five stars and I'm literally 60 pages in. Um, 
And I have a feeling that Paige will mention, because the video I'm watching from Paige is all the books I've rated five stars this year. And I'm pretty sure she gave five stars to Malibu Rising. I didn't realise how much I'd actually love flashing back to the 50s and seeing how the parents grew up. So if you basically didn't know what Malibu Rising is, it's about a family who live in Malibu and a house party within the 24 hour period um, that they have like a house party and the house or something in Malibu catches fire. But you also flash back to the parents of the five or four children who are currently at the house party. You flash back to their parents on how they kind of like came to be. Because you get so much character development. I am loving this book and I knew I enjoyed Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing. So what is it there not to love? I knew I loved her writing and these characters are amazing already and I'm 60 pages in. Yay! <laughs> it's currently 10 to 10. So in 10 minutes, I will read 10 a.m. This is where I'm going to be all day. It's <laughs> the same updates. It's 10, 18. I seem to read each chapter in about 20 minutes and I'm on the 11 a.m. chapter and I just want to binge this book. <laughs> This is only the second book, like I said, that I've read by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I'm feeling a lot more love towards this book than I did about after I do. I just love it so much already. If this doesn't get a five stars, I know I'm being a bit preemptive. Is that the right word? Preemptive, I think it is. Because I'm on page 74. So, like, nothing in comparison to what I have left. I'll be shocked. Um, this This last chapter I just read... Reminds me of A Star Is Born with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. And I sobbed at that film. Uh, my boyfriend couldn't fix me. I cried for about two hours post seeing the film, post credits. I love that film so, so much. Uh, and that last chapter gave me Star Is Born vibes. So that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm just loving it. I'll keep these updates short because if I'm going to update every like timestamp then this video might get a bit too long so yeah I'm on to the 11am section and I'm loving it I'm so glad I got a signed first edition of this book yay that 1pm chapter was so short I'm so sad oh I am <laughs> I have to wait ages to read it again Maybe a nap. <laughs> I am feeling kind of tired, so maybe a nap, but we've reached the 100 page mark. So that's always exciting. I need the energy. p.m. is done and it's 10 to 3 but I'm gonna take like a quick nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. It is now 20 past 3. I had a 20 minute nap. I feel very refreshed but I cannot be bothered to be wearing my makeup anymore so I'm gonna take that off and while I do that I'm gonna to talk to you about my thoughts so far on the book. So let's get going. So thoughts on Manu Rising so far, I'm about 120-ish pages in and I didn't think I'd be saying this, but I actually prefer the sections that are written in like the 50s and the 60s and stuff when the main four siblings are younger. It's so interesting and it's actually making me want to pick up uh, Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn Hugo because I know that is kind of centered around fame as well. I think actually all of Taylor Jenkins Reid's books are centered around fame. So maybe I'm just not reading them because they're so hyped on booktube when in actual fact I'm dismissing the fact that I would actually really enjoy them just because they're hyped. So maybe I need to get on that bandwagon. But I'm really, really enjoying the flashbacks. They're more detailed, I think, currently because the present timeline, you're still in like the morning of the party and you know at the end of the party the house goes up in flames that's kind of where the start of the book starts that's where the whole story kind of starts so you know that's going to happen and you're kind of 
working your way up to that major event through the timestamps. So currently at the minute, because we're still only like 3 p.m., the party hasn't started yet. So I'm actually enjoying the flashbacks more than the present day timeline because it's really interesting to get to know the family's like background. I'm really, really enjoying it. I think the four kids have such incredible connection and the characters feel so real. Like if you've read the book, you know that Mick is an absolute dick. <laughs> And I feel so angry at him, like he's a real person. I'm like, why the fuck would you do that? Obviously, he's a fictional character, but Taylor Jenkins really just makes all her characters feel so lifelike and so real because they're just so in-depth and so human. It's so good. <laughs> and that's kind of all I have to say. Obviously, like I said, the party hasn't started yet, but I have a feeling that when it gets to like... 8, 9 p.m., the present day timeline is going to get really, really action packed, and I'm not going to want to stop reading. Whereas at the minute, I don't mind having the breaks, but I have a feeling that when it gets to like midnight and stuff, I'm not going to want to stop reading, and that's probably when I'm going to scrap the timestamps and just binge as much as possible so I can go to bed. But we'll see. But yeah, so far, it's feeling like a five stars, and I'm very, very excited about that fact. So I'm going to take the rest of my makeup off and then read the 3pm section and then we can go from there. Um, I wasn't expecting what just happened to happen. My, door, my jaw dropped and um, tears came to my eyes. <laughs> what? If you've read it, message me. <laughs> I'm in shock. And that, for, because I just read the 4 p.m. chapter, that chapter was so short. And now I have to wait till 5 p.m. And it's literally 11 minutes past four. This book is killing me because all I want to just do is binge it. But I can't. Well, I could, I could break my rules and I probably will later on in the evening just so I can binge a lot of like the evening time and the party and kind of like when the events start to properly unfold. But at the minute I do want to kind of stick to the hourly timestamps. Darn it. 5pm <laughs> is done and I just checked for 6pm and it's like 35 to 40 pages and I haven't had a chapter that long in so long and I'm so excited to get my teeth into this book a bit more because I'm starting to feel I, I feel like I feel this every single time I do this vlog where the book just feels so broken because I'm reading it in such little segments and I still love doing them <laughs> I don't know why I put myself through this pain because most of the time I just want to binge the book but I force myself to stop reading at the end of every timestamp still loving the book though really really enjoying the four siblings and loving the backstory like I love the flashbacks so much they're so much better than the current timeline they're just incredible but I just want to binge 6 p.m yes I'm starting early don't tell anyone same location, different lighting, different clothing because it is now turning 7pm and I haven't read the 6pm. This is the first time I'm behind schedule but I spent some time eating dinner with my family, watching some TV, just kind of relaxing because I've been by myself all day so I need like the social, <laughs> imagine Sims <laughs> and like their social bar being like amber to red, that's where I was, I needed some social time so I spent some time with my family but now I'm jumping back into reading and I'm going to read the 6pm section and the 7pm section back to back, which I'm actually really excited for because I don't need to break up the story as much. So I have about 50 to 60 pages to read in an hour and I cannot wait. So I'm just going to delve in, enjoy my reading experience, kind of not having it so broken up and I'll keep you posted. Officially at the halfway mark. 7pm was like five pages, so I'm back on track. <laughs> I thought I was going to be trying to like catch up to get to 8pm but no I'm all cool by 7.30 it's fine but the party started so I feel like shit is gonna get real now I'm I'm excited but I'm also worried that it's getting not late but like towards my bedtime and I'm gonna try and stay up as late as possible I think what I plan is is to stay up until around midnight and get to as much of 
4 to 5 a.m. as possible so I can wake up at my usual time of 5 a.m. and not be really, really behind and then read the remainder according to the timestamp. So read 5 a.m. on time, read 6 a.m. on time and 7 a.m. on time to finish the book. I think that's the plan, just so I can still sleep but also read the majority of the book according to the timestamps and also just get to bed at a reasonable time because I'm 24 and I like my sleep. <laughs> Another short chapter means 8 p.m. is done and dusted and it's only like 8.17. But I am not feeling five star feelings anymore, which is a shame because I just feel like it's taking too long to get to the action now. Like we're at the party now and nothing has happened and the maybe because the 8 a.m section didn't have any flashbacks and i really really enjoyed the flashbacks so maybe i'm just feeling sad that there was no flashbacks of recent <laughs> i don't know it's just not really feeling like a five star anymore so it'll probably be like a 4.5 it'll be really close to a five unless the ending kind of like majorly like switches my opinion i don't think it's gonna be five star anymore still really enjoying it just not as much as i was like it's no longer five star worthy and i don't think it could reach that point again but who knows only time will tell and it's crazy to think that with these videos usually i would be like really close to the end of the book and i'm only halfway because <laughs> obviously like i said earlier usually the books start at midnight and finish at midnight so having obviously this book start at 7 a.m and finish 7 a.m the next day I've only just reached a halfway mark because obviously the halfway mark is 7 p.m. So it's weird to be like coming up to the evening and not being anywhere near finished. <laughs> it's quite daunting actually. We'll get there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I am getting tired and it's literally just 10 o'clock, literally bang on. Can you see that? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm gonna read the 10 o'clock section now and I'm not gonna really care about the actual time now. What I'm going to do is, what is the plan is read the 10 o'clock section, the 11 o'clock section and the midnight section now without really worrying about the timestamps or the real life time that it currently is. And then take a little bit of a break, see what the actual time is and then from midnight or maybe just before, I'm going to smash out from midnight till 4 a.m. sections. And then I'm gonna sleep, get hopefully like three hours sleep. <laughs> Wake up at five and read the remainder of the book. That's the plan. Fingers crossed I don't fall asleep. I feel like one of those like survival cameras. It's 10.30 p.m. and I've just reached the midnight point of the book. <laughs> At this point, I am just powering through, I am tired, and I just want to sleep, but I don't want to regret not reading a lot when I wake up tomorrow, so I'm just going to read as much as I can until I get really, really tired, and then I'm going to fall asleep and read whatever I have left in the morning. There's too many perspectives now. You know when I said right at the beginning of this vlog, I love multiple perspectives? That was when I was referring to just the four siblings and then the flashbacks of the parents. And now we're getting so many perspectives from people in the party that I don't give two shits about. And it's making it really difficult to feel motivated to read right now, especially because it's getting quite late. I've just... I'm just reading the 1am section, which is about 40 pages long, which is also not helping my motivation. This book is dropping drastically off ratings. I made it to the 3am section and it's quarter to midnight. I'm done. I'm so tired. And I just feel like if I read any more tonight, I'm just going to be ruining the book for myself. And even though I'm not enjoying it as much, I still don't want to just force myself through it. Go in and out of sleep, having to reread pages, like that's not efficient use of my time. 
so I might as well sleep now, get a good five hours, and then wake up and finish the rest tomorrow. I have made it to the 300 page mark in this book, it's 360 pages. I only have 60 pages to read tomorrow morning anyway, so I think I've done all right. Right guys, I'll see you in the morning to finish. <laughs> oh, to finish Malibu Rising. Time to, time to sleep. made it to the 5am section and it is currently 20 past 6 so I'm gonna be behind now until I just finish this book so I might as well just finish this book. <laughs> it's 6.30 it's 6.30 4 and I've finished <laughs> the 7am section was so short like three pages like what was the point in like waiting half hour to read it so I just binged the rest of it and um I'm really underwhelmed like I know I've said this before but I didn't think when starting this book that my favorite sections were going to be the flashbacks of going back in time but they were 100% my favorite parts and then when the party started those flashbacks stopped and for me the book just got so flat and so not boring but just there was no dimension to it anymore like there was no reason for the book and then the way the house set fire was just really really underwhelming and that's how the story ended this book has gone from like at 60 pages this was like going to be like a five star book it's now like a three star <laughs> i'm gonna get out of bed get ready because i'm awake now and then i'll wrap up this vlog with my full thoughts and feelings when the lighting is better <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just here to wrap up the vlog and tell you kind of my final thoughts on Malibu Rising. I'm going to settle on a three stars and that is because three stars, 3.5. As you saw, I absolutely loved the beginning and I loved the family that was kind of at like the main centre and my favourite part was looking back on their time as you kind of saw how they came to be. But as soon as that disappeared, when the party started, I really didn't enjoy this book whatsoever. I didn't think there was any sort of depth to the story. I didn't think there was any kind of like dynamic to it. And the ending was just so underwhelming with how long you spent kind of getting to the party, which you would expect to be kind of like the main event because that's kind of what it says on the blurb, that it's about this family. And by midnight, the party will be completely out of control by morning, the Rivia. The Rivia Mansion will have gone up in flames and that's on the synopsis you think that's going to be like a major part of it and <laughs> you just spent so much time learning about these characters and learning about who they are and their background which I absolutely adored which was the flashbacks but then the party started which you think is the main event and it wasn't <laughs> and I just would have rathered a whole story about them in the past in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s so I just feel very very underwhelmed with this book and it's such a shame and the reason it's getting like a 3 to 3.5 was because it initially was going to be like a five star book until it got to like the 200 page mark and then it just went so downhill for me if the end of the book was how it started I don't think I would have even finished the book I feel like I'm thinking of Paige and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really, really wanted to love this book and I really thought that I was going to love this book. But that just wasn't the case. And I'm really, really upset with that. It just felt so underwhelming and I think that's why. I was saying to my mum, I've never had an experience before where I felt so confident that this was going to be a five-star book and then all of a sudden it disappointed me so much that it dropped to a three-star rating. Like, it's never happened to me before. And because of that, I feel so disappointed and I think that's why it has the rating that it has. And I'm really sorry, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog nevertheless. I still love reading the books with the time the author kind of has in mind. So like 8 p.m. when everyone was getting ready for the party, I was like at night and she said something like a sentence of like, the sun was coming down and the stars were come, starting to come out and obviously outside my window it was a cloudy night but you can kind of imagine like the sun coming down and this night sky kind of starting to appear and it's just cool 
to have those descriptions at the same time that you're currently experiencing them, which is why I loved doing these vlogs in the first place. And I will continue to do them, but just not very often because like I've said before, it's difficult to fit them and do them in my current lifestyle. So I still enjoy doing this, even though this is my lowest rated book so far out of the little trilogy that I've made of this vlog series, but still enjoyed my time. I really, really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Nevertheless, let me know what you think of Malibu Rising if you've read it, because I know that it's kind of like a love hate. If people have read Mortea Jenkins read, they tend to feel quite disappointed perhaps. I've heard that, but then I've also heard people absolutely love it. So I think it's a very mixed bag of opinions when it comes to this book, but I'm glad I've had my go at it and I'm glad I've read it. If you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe down below to see future content from me, I do anything from weekly reading vlogs, themed reading vlogs, <laughs> TBR games and everything else in between. I'm also hosting a readathon this October that celebrates the magical world of Walt Disney World so if you are interested in that I'll leave the announcement video up above and down below for you guys as well. I hope everybody I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.